You want a Rolex, but guess what? So does half the world. And standing between you and that dream Rolex, an endless maze of waiting games, shady transactions, and potential scams. It's a jungle out there in the watch world, but with the right guide, you can sidestep all of those traps. So let's flip the script on them, because in this video, I unveil all of the secrets so you can crack the Rolex code, giving you the confidence to easily navigate the Rolex retail scene or conquer the secondary markets. And at the end of the video, I'll spill the beans on the single biggest rookie mistake most first-time Rolex buyers make that could cost you thousands. Don't miss it. But first, let's navigate the three main routes you can take when buying an authentic Rolex. Think of it as a choose-your-own adventure. Your first option to buy a new Rolex is via the buy-by-book path through an unauthorized dealer. The next path is to secure the watch face-to-face -face with those streetwise watch dealers in the secondary market. And your last choice is to snipe your perfect Rolex from an online marketplace. Most folks kick off their Rolex quest at an authorized dealer, AD for short. But in a major plot twist, Rolex recently acquired the massive watch retailer, Bukhara. So this development may significantly change the Rolex buying process in the near future. But for now, I'll explain the current steps to buying a new Rolex at an authorized dealer. From the second you walk into a Rolex AD and tell them you want to buy a Rolex, you'll typically get classified into one of three buyer categories. Type A, which is the newbie with no purchase history. Type B, which is one of their loyal customers who's yet to dip their toes into the Rolex waters. And Type C, which is the seasoned buyer who's already bought a couple of Rolexes directly from their store. They rank their customers since everyone from casual buyers to watch flippers wants to get their hands on a new Rolex. And the stainless steel icons like the Rolex Submariner and Daytona, you wanted to randomly stroll in and buy in on your way to the mall? Well, these bad boys have wait lists stretching longer than a VIP line at the hottest club, especially if you're a Rolex rookie with zero cred with the dealer. However, not all Rolexes are playing hard to get. Some are just waiting for you to swipe right, but don't expect them to jump into your arms or onto your wrist from day one, especially if your purchase history is emptier than my coffee cup on a Monday morning. So what's your golden ticket to speedy Rolex glory? Aim for two-tone styles or non mark models, like the Sea Dweller. Why, you ask? Well, these particular styles often sell for near retail prices on the secondary market and can be even cheaper from authorized dealers. So, fewer folk are trying to flip them for a quick buck. However, what many don't realize is that most Rolex dealers can't simply handpick all their inventory. Instead, Rolex plays Santa, dropping a mixed bag of timepieces into their laps. So, to keep Rolex smiling and their quotas met, dealers sometimes have to push those not-so-hot models. It's like trying to offload that ugly Christmas sweater from Aunt Gertrude, but there are always diamonds in the rough. So make sure to subscribe to catch my upcoming Rolex buying guide video where I'll reveal the top three diamonds in the rough Rolex models with shorter wait times at authorized dealers. But what if you've still got your heart set on the uber popular steel Daytona Panda or a GMT Master 2 Pepsi? Dream big, right? Well, brace yourself for the waiting game. I've seen wait lists that swing wildly between just miss my bus to waiting for the next solar eclipse, all depending on that Rolex model you're drooling over. And how do you shimmy up that elusive Rolex waiting list? Well, the quickest way to the front is schmoozing. And by schmoozing, I mean building a relationship with your local dealer. This typically translates to splurging on higher profit items for that dealer, which is jewelry from those, who's that again? Brands? Or buying watches from brands that might not be the bell of the ball. Now, your dealer or account manager won't say this to your face, but here's the tea. A customer's spend with them is a big part of how they rank their priority customers. It's like a high school popularity contest, but with pricier accessories. You wouldn't believe the tales I've heard. Picture this. A dealer tells a Rolex newbie that their dream Rolex is as attainable as a unicorn, subtly pushing them to splurge $20,000 or even $50,000 on other shiny trinkets in their shop. Then, like a plot twist in a telenovela, they get the call from their rep a few weeks later. Surprise, your Rolex Rolex is ready. Talk about playing hard to get, but if you're not excited at the thought of flashing cash to maybe jump the queue, then there are some lesser known shortcuts to consider. So let's talk about the strategy to best win over your Rolex dealer. First, we have a geography lesson. Scout out multiple authorized dealers near your city's beating heart, but avoid all the glitzy downtown and tourist traps. Why? Because the golden spots are often those dealers set up 30 minutes to an hour away from the city's hustle. Less foot traffic, fewer customers, 
dealers and more chances for you to shine. But be sure to visit multiple dealers so you don't put all of your eggs into one basket. Now, once you're in the lair, it's time to pour on the charm. You'll want to start off on the right foot by dressing to impress. Think business casual with a sprinkle of I've arrived. Got a snazzy watch? Flaunt it. Yeah, it's a bit like peacocking, but hey, sometimes you've got to strut your stuff to get what you want. And trust me, I get it. In an ideal world, you'd waltz in wearing pajamas and they'd hand over the Rolex regardless. But in this instance, appearances matter, unfortunately. Next, you want to engage with your dealer. Bond over shared interests. Share your passion for Rolex and other luxury watches. And if you've got a Rolex story, spill it. Even better, compliment their watch and show genuine curiosity about them. Ask about their time in the city, their favorite watches, and their tenure at the dealership. It can go a long way. Here's another pro tip. Sidestep the newbie salespeople. They're lovely, but they've got as much sway as a goldfish in a shark tank. Aim for the big fish, senior reps, managers, or better yet, the elusive owner. And for the love of time, please avoid the following major mistakes when dealing with Rolex dealers. First, don't ever say you've sold a watch. Don't mention the phrase gray market or anything else that indicates you could be involved with the reselling of watches. Furthermore, don't have any social media posts showing you being associated with reselling of watches. Believe it or not, Rolex dealers have mastered the art of online stalking. Before you know it, they've scrolled past your vacation pics and are side-eyeing that post where you've listed an old watch for sale. Speaking of your phone, don't take pictures or videos in the store. Your AD won't believe you're serious if you're busy snapping selfies. Another less well known mistake is saying you're only interested in the Rolex sports models. It may lead them to believe you're a watch flipper since steel sport models like the Submariner or GMT Master II are more easily resold for a profit. Also, have a reasonably clear idea of the models you're interested in. This is another subtle indicator that the dealer will use to judge how serious you are about making a purchase. Lastly, make sure to grab the dealer's card or contact info when making your exit, then slide into their inbox with a thank you note. Or go old school and send a handwritten note if you really want to stand out. It's like sending a mixtape in the age of Spotify. Sure, it's extra, but so is a Rolex, right? And if this sounds like a lot of hoops to jump through to buy a watch, that's because it is. Personally, I think their buying process is everything wrong with Rolex. We shouldn't need to impress dealers or have to buy unwanted jewelry just for the chance to purchase their watches. Let me know in the comments if I should make a video on the best hassle-free alternatives to popular Rolex models that you can pick up now for much less. But if you're not the waiting type and need that Rolex ASAP, you can always buy from a reputable reason seller in person or online. The key word being reputable. This means I would strongly advise you against buying your first Rolex from online private sellers, be it on Craigslist, Instagram, Discord, or other luxury watch forums. Yes, you might be able to find slightly better prices through these channels, but there's far too great a risk of getting scammed for an unseasoned watch buyer. With that said, there are many safe online retailers that have strong authenticity guarantees if you want to purchase online. Online boot Boutiques like Bob's Watches, Joma Shop, and Chrono24 all have extensive authenticity programs. Even eBay now has its own authenticity partnership who will inspect the watch at their facilities before sending it to ensure it matches the listing. Just be very careful to review the description thoroughly so you avoid any watch heartbreak. Regardless of whether you're looking to snag a Rolex online or in person, there are some golden rules you need to follow. Let's break it down. First, always ensure the watch comes with its original papers and box. Think of these as the watch's birth certificate. Without them, you're sailing through a storm without a compass. If a watch is naked, aka without its paper and original box, then you want to avoid it as a new buyer. Next, keep it original and ensure every piece of that watch is made of genuine Rolex parts. Because a Rolex with non-original parts is like a superhero stripped of its powers. It just doesn't feel right. The most common spot to look out for, the Rolex bracelet is commonly replaced or serviced due to wear from regular use. Ensure it's original, or if parts have been replaced, that the work was done by Rolex with genuine Rolex parts. Make sure those replacement parts are not from a different era or model, because no one wants a Franken watch. Next up, verify the watch's entire service history, and more importantly, who's been its doctor over the years. Ensure it's only been serviced by Rolex to limit the risk from previous watch technicians. Next, your Rolex should not only look good, but should also still keep time like a champ. 
ask the seller to show you its timekeeping stats and test your watch on a Time Grapher machine in person. Or if you're buying online, firmly request the Time Grapher record this test before you seal the deal. Don't settle for less. If any dealer, virtual or in person, won't provide these essentials or full transparency, then simply walk away from the purchase. After all, you can't put a price on genuine peace of mind. Lastly, and most important, the most common mistake that can cost you thousands of dollars is buying a polished Rolex from the secondary market. While a polished watch might appear to be in a better condition than in the store, it's critical that your Rolex be truly authentic and untouched, like a masterpiece in a museum. Let me explain. The iconic Rolex bezel and case lines, they can easily get rounded and dulled after a couple of polishes by anyone but a true expert. So if it's been polished or serviced by Rolex, that's okay if you have the complete service records. But any other polishing from your local dealer down the street, that's a big no-no. It's like giving the Mona Lisa a makeover. And don't let the dealers trick you either. Here's a pro tip. Ask them if it's been polished instead of asking them if anyone other than Rolex has polished it. Many dealers often assume that their uninformed buyers preferred polished watches because they will appear to look newer and more attractive to the untrained eye. So they might inform you if a watch has been polished because they think you want it, or they might even offer polishing to entice you to close a deal, even though non-Rolex polishing can significantly lower the watch's value. Decline that offer and buy it unpolished, asking for a small discount instead. If you want to clean up the look, then ship it to Rolex directly for service to maintain its value. So, think you're a Rolex Pro now? Then click here to test your Rolex prowess against Messi and Ronaldo's elite watch collections, including two off-catalogue pieces that the head honchos at Rolex don't want you to know about.